everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hi, Emma. What do you want to learn about today? Well, Auntie, my mom and I got into the biggest tickling competition ever last night, and I just couldn't stop laughing. Sounds like fun, Emma. You mean like this tickle, 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 tickle? <laughs> yeah, Auntie, just like that. Auntie, why am I so ticklish? Good question, Emma. Well, to understand, what makes tickles so hilarious, let's look closer into the world of the skin and touch. The skin has millions of nerve endings that allow us to sense different sensations. For example, when something is hot, it tells us, ouch, that's hot. If something is soft, rough, cold, slimy, well, everything. When we touch something, nerves send signals to our brain so we can tell what sensation we are feeling right away. For tickling, there are actually two types of tickle sensations that our skin experiences. Number one is nismesis. Can you say nismesis? Hmm, nismesis, auntie. Very good. So nismesis happens when something lightly touches your skin and makes you want to brush it away, like a feather or a piece of hair touching your skin. It's something that's more annoying than actually ticklish. The second type of sensation causing tickles is called gargolesis. Can you say gargolesis, Emma? Yes, auntie, gargolesis. Good job, Emma. Gargolesis is the tickle that we get with a heavier touch to a sensitive area, like your tummy or under your arm, and it makes you want to laugh. That's what happened last night when mom tickled me. Gargolesis. Yes, Emma, very good. So with nismesis, or the light tickle, we could cause the feeling of a tickle ourselves by slightly touching our skin with something. But gargolesis, the heavier tickle, we can't actually cause the tickle ourselves. Really, Auntie? Yes, try it out now. Okay, let's take your hair and rub it on your skin. What do you feel, Emma? Hmm, let me see here. <laughs> that feels a little funny. Yes, that is your nismesis tickle. Okay, now let's have you tickle your tummy. Okay, Auntie, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel anything. That's not funny at all. Yes, Emma, you could tickle your tummy all day long and you won't start laughing. But take a hair on your head and have it slightly touch your arm and it may send a tickle feeling straight to you. You see, it's all in the act of being surprised that is part of what makes us laugh when we're tickled. Our body just can't see it coming. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> oh my goodness, Auntie, you got me. Okay, Auntie, so when I'm tickled, I feel like I can't control the laughing. Why is that happening? Well, Emma, when we are tickled, the nerves send signals to the brain that turn on two main areas, the somatosensory cortex of the brain, which senses touch, and the anterior cingulate cortex, which tells the brain, I'm happy. By turning both of these parts of the brain on, it tells us a tickle is happening. Funny enough, scientists are actually not 100% sure why we laugh when we're tickled, but there are a few theories or ideas as to why. One reason is a defense mechanism that we have developed. Hmm, a defense mechanism, Auntie? What is that? Remember when we spoke about anxiety several weeks ago and we learned about our fight and flight system? 
Yes, Auntie. So, when something startles us, like a surprise tickle, a part of the brain turns on called our fight and flight system, which senses something is going on and tells us, yikes, let's stop that. So scientists think that laughing is the body's way of telling the person tickling you that you have had enough. Stop tickling me, please. Another idea is that laughing is a way for us to bond or grow closer. When we are babies, our moms and dads tickle us to make us happy, to connect or bond with us. So laughing helps make that connection with our loved ones even stronger. That's true, Auntie. I remember Mommy tickling me a lot when I was little. So, Auntie, how come some areas are way more ticklish than others? Don't tell Mom, but her secret tickle spot is under her arms. Ooh, good to know, Emma. I'll have to remember that one. Well, Emma, the places we are most ticklish tend to be in the areas that are least protected by bones and body parts, like our tummies, our chin, our feet, and under our arms, to name a few places. Oh man, Auntie, those are all my most ticklish spots. Now, actually, there are some people that aren't very ticklish at all. And then there's other people that are so ticklish you can barely touch them. And at this time, we just don't know why that is. Got it, Auntie. Fun fact, Emma, did you know that some animals are also ticklish? What? Really, Auntie? Yes, dogs, cats, and apes are just some examples of animals that can be ticklish as well. Wow, Auntie. Well, do you know what the biggest question and mystery of all is about tickles, Auntie? Hmm, what, Emma? Where is my... Auntie ticklish! Tickle, 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 tickle! <laughs> Oh my goodness, you got me, Emma. All right, everyone. Time to go find someone you love and see where their ticklish spot is. See you next time. <laughs> hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.